We still haven't seen uh, the results of uh, Donald Trump's two presidential audits because they're not done. Because for the powerful, there is no accountability. Laws only apply to you and me. Men are doing time tonight for unpaid bench warrants on a busted taillight. But Donald Trump walks free. Donald Trump learned early on from mafia lawyer Roy Cohn that laws don't apply to the powerful. There are so many crimes Trump has committed, so many, and yet he walks free. And because of this, partly because of Trump, Americans have lost faith in our criminal justice system. And when that happens, when Americans stop believing there's justice, they stop believing in America. Do you remember Michigan Governor Rick Snyder, Republican, multimillionaire, ran for governor of Michigan, became governor? He was the one who decided to run Michigan like a business as governor to save money. Uh, the people of Flint, Michigan, he decided, would be getting their water uh, from Flint River and no longer from Lake Huron, which was clean. So the people of Flint started getting their drinking water from Flint River, but the Flint River water was so polluted, it corroded the pipes. And lead in the pipes began seeping into the drinking water. It got so bad, the local car manufacturers in Flint said they needed to switch back to water from Lake Huron because the water from Flint River was destroying the insides of the engines they were manufacturing. So the car company got the old water back, but not the residents of Flint, Michigan, who happened to be predominantly African-American. They were forced to drink tap water from Flint River. And tens of thousands of mostly African-American children have been exposed to permanent lead poisoning. Permanent. Now, two major studies, one from a university and one from a major news gathering organization, prove that Governor Snyder mishandled the Flint water crisis and was criminally negligent. And anybody who's been following the story, well, we all expected Rick Snyder to go to prison, but he's not. Two weeks ago, a judge threw out the case against Rick Snyder, and they dismissed all criminal charges. And eight, eight cronies of Governor Snyder, they, they were involved in the Flint water disaster. They too, they too have had their cases thrown out. Meanwhile, Rick Snyder was worth millions before he was governor of Michigan. He's no longer governor of Michigan, but he's worth millions and millions and millions more. Now, I know a lot of you think locking up Donald Trump is a waste of time. You think it won't solve income inequality. You think locking up Donald Trump won't stop our endless wars, fix homelessness, or provide free health care for all Americans. I disagree. There can be no progressive movement without laws. Those laws must be obeyed. You have to pass these laws and then make sure they're enforced. For example, the Clean Water Act, the Clean Water Act is a law, and Rick Snyder should be locked up for life for violating that law. There is no progress without laws, and those laws must be enforced. Otherwise, there is no progress. Medicare, beautiful Medicare, is a law. You don't have Medicare without it first being passed as a law. People like Florida Senator Republican Rick Scott, who ripped off Medicare before becoming a politician, he ripped off Medicare to the tune of roughly $1 billion, probably double that. Uh, Florida Senator Rick Scott should be in prison, not making settlements as he did with our Justice Department. He ran a health care company. They ripped off our government for more than a billion dollars, and he made a financial settlement instead of going to prison, where right now we have men doing time 
for failing to obey a bench warrant on a busted taillight. He should be in prison. He just didn't break the law. Senator Rick Scott just didn't break the law. He violated one of the most sacred laws we have, Medicare. Medicare provides medicine and doctors and hospitalization to our grandparents. Rick Scott should be in prison. He stole a billion dollars at least from Medicare. Instead, he settles with the Justice Department for close to one billion and runs for senator of Florida. Nothing can get done in America without first passing a law and then that law must be obeyed. If you want free tuition at all public universities, that's a law that has to be passed and then obeyed. If you want single payer health care, that's a law that must be passed and then obeyed. There is no democracy, there is no freedom, there is no progressive movement in this country without laws and then making sure those laws are obeyed. We have a crime problem in America, a serious crime problem in America, not on the streets, in our government, in our corporation, in our corporations. And it is time to put those proverbial heads on sticks and say, here is what happens. Here is what happens when you break our laws. You are doing time. Trust me, you lock up Trump and his cronies, it gets contagious. This is what happened after Watergate. You start locking up these people, it gets contagious. And that's when real progressive reform starts to kick in. Because the American people, you lock up Trump, they will taste blood and demand more of Trump's ilk go to prison. And when enough, when enough of these mental defects like Donald Trump are locked up, then it will be safe for progressives. Donald Trump's crowd loves to chant, lock them up. They're absolutely right.